The situation in Haiti remains critical. As many as 10,000 U.S. troops are expected to arrive there by Monday. Today, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton met with Haiti's president to review rescue efforts in the earthquake-ravaged country. Rescue crews from across the globe are working around the clock to pull survivors from the rubble, adding to the problems. Aftershocks continue to shake the island, creating more fear and further weakening the buildings left standing. As we watch the scenes of destruction out of Haiti, many feel helpless, like you can't do anything about it. Yeah, but for two women in Norman, it inspired them to use their special gift to give back to a country in need. Hawks 25 Phil Cross shows us how you can help them help others. So. Guys, it's a fundraiser built from scratch. From a kitchen in Norman come the sweet smells of baked goods and the even sweeter rewards that come from giving back. I know uh, firsthand that we all feel so helpless uh, here in the United States. Uh, we really want to have the chance to help the people in Haiti. Death and destruction filled their television screens. I can't go down there. I'm not going to be able to pick up and go and, and do mission work because I have a family here that I take care of. Then hope their hearts. On Wednesday night, my best friend Jackie, who's co-founded this fundraiser with me, called me and said, we need to date for Haiti. Michelle Sutherland and Jackie Lindley started Confections for a Cause last year. Most of us are in really limited incomes and weren't able to give a huge amount to the United Way of Norman campaign. And so we came up with the idea to have this online bake sale. When the earthquake hit Haiti, the bakers returned. I'm making chocolate spice brownies. Filling this kitchen framed by faith. We're so excited that we can be in our own kitchens and turn around and help people a world away. I wouldn't be telling the truth if I said that I love to bake. I love to help others, so I'm definitely on that side of it. A perfect pairing. Michelle does the baking, Jackie the billing. Orders are already coming in. We are almost at $500 raised, and that is just in a day and a half. It's fantastic. I can't imagine by the end of this how much we may actually be able to reach. Every cent made from selling these creative confections goes to the Red Cross for Haitian relief. It's, it's kind of a nice and unique feeling to know that that little thing is potentially going to send water and supplies and emergency um, food rations to people who really literally right now have nothing. But we all are really committed to helping um, these people and because they need it the most. Confessions for a Cause will continue baking for about a month, so last day to order is February 8th for pickup by February 13th. Lisa? Okay, thank you, Phil. Well, Confections for a Cause is run completely by volunteers and donated baking supplies. If you'd like to help out or order a baked good, we put a link on our website. Go to okcfox.com slash links.